Hello, my name is Jordan Smith, and I'll be telling you about Everett F. Cox. I'll tell you how Elbert was a major part of science, technology, engineering, art, and math, also known as STEM. Elbert was a Elbert influenced people all around the world. Elbert F. Cox was born December 5, 1895, in Evansville, Indiana. He grew up with his mom and dad. Their names were Johnson B. Cox and Eugenia Talbot Cox, and his one sibling, Avalon Cox. He struggled with being an African American because of segregation. He overcame that by annoying the haters. So what I mean by that is when someone will call him names or doubt him, he'll take that as motivation and be a better person. So being the bigger person and not letting it get to him. Later in his life, he married his wife, Bill P. Kaufman. Together they had three kids named Eugene, Elbert, and Jane. Cox. Elbert F. Cox later died November 28, 1969, at the age of 73 years old. Elbert F. Cox achieved being the first African American mathematician. Also, he was the first black professor to go to Harvard University. He taught mathematics at West Virginia University for 40 years straight. Elbert F. Cox also was the first ever African American to earn a PhD in mathematics. Elbert influenced them by doing math and inspiring people that they're able to do anything in life that you put your mind to. Elbert of Cox taught us today that if we want to do something, go for it. Today in this world, there are 10,000 through 20,000 African American mathematicians. Elbert of Cox paved the way for people to pursue as a mathematician or something else a part of STEM, Elbert L. Cox.